the Allied Democratic Forces ADF on this Friday night attacked Mpondwe Lubiriha Secondary School in Kasese District near Congo border and left several students dead and other people. Many children have been killed, 20 hacked to death, um, 17 burnt dormitories they burned, they locked. So you have 37 children killed, you have six that were abducted. But those are the forces pursuing to rescue them. Then you have these dormitories that were burned with the students' properties. So it's uh, quite substantial damage, particularly in terms of human lives. The spokesperson of the UPDF, Felix Kulaije, concedes that there was some kind of failure on the side of intelligence. Uh, because we have PISO, we have GISO, you know, parish intelligence officer, Gombora intelligence officer, this should be picking these things when they are they come out. Uh, but remember, these fellows came from across, and uh, could that be the reason why the information was picked was not picked? Maybe, but that is no reason. Uh, that's an excuse for us uh, not to have detected these fellows because we are supposed to be more vigilant and alert than even them. Uh, so that's why I said now it's a learning experience for us again uh, to check ourselves and uh, make corrective measures. These things happen, one, but two, we have not reneged in our mandate. We are definitely going to do even better. You recall they did such a thing in 1998 in Chichwamba Technical School and they have not been able to do it again. Uh, because of the vigilance that we picked from that time. So even now, certainly we are going to increase our vigilance. But two, we are also going to increase on mobilization of the population so that they always look out for such a negative elements. Top leadership in the UPDF have visited the scene to establish the facts that led to the ugly incident. It is alleged that after the incident, the rebels fled across the porous border into the Democratic Republic of Congo. Diana Kuti, UBC.